All right, we are 32 days away from Paige and Jason's wedding. This is so exciting. Okay, and with us today, the bride and the groom, the best man, the maid of honor, and Dan Kohler and Kim and Debbie are with us. It's a big group because we're tackling a very big issue. It's how to give the wedding toast. When I first saw that we were giving a toast, I thought we were actually making toast for the segment. <laughs> it kind of like threw Jesus me a little bit, face. but I'm so glad. I'm glad it involves drinks and a toast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kim, yes. Debbie, you guys must have a good wedding toast story. Oh Come gosh, on. you want to go first? Or you want me to go first? You go first. Oh boy, I once went to a wedding. This is not good. I would just like to recommend if you're going to give a toast, perhaps do not imbibe in the toast before giving the toast. <laughs> because this lovely gentleman got up and he began a story that went on for about 12 minutes and he kept saying, and I just want to say to the groom that we have been friends for years and years and I really, you mean so much to me. And then at about where he was supposed to get to the crux of the toast, he forgot what he was going to say. I'm not kidding you. And he just sat there with the drink and just going, no, hold on. It's going to come to me. Oh. It's going to come to me. And oh, people no. tried to take the microphone, and he wouldn't let go. Oh, that's embarrassing. It was time to go, yeah. like yeah. 12 minutes ago. Yeah. 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 Well, the only other thing I would say about that is um, I went to weddings, and a lot of people tend to think that they're comedians the minute they oh, get yeah. a glass right, in their right. hand oh. and a microphone. So uh, we had one wedding that somebody went to, and they were thinking that it was their like stand-up act. Oh, boy. And they were telling jokes and no one was laughing. Oh, so they were not oh, funny. That's so uncomfortable. Nice. You want to be it's not time. It's not open mic night. No. No, <laughs> no, no it's not. Okay. Not okay. time to try out new material. No. no. Well, we have the maid of honor and the best man, Trevi and Scott, here. So how are you feeling about giving the toast? Oh, I can tell you I'm, I'm nervous <laughs> because, uh, because you're used to being able to go on a little bit and gush. And this, we're going to have to keep it really short. So I'm very nervous and I'm very excited that you're here to <laughs> give us some tips. The thing is, in, within Australia, I know the basic minimum of a best man speech goes for about 15, 10, 15 minutes. So wow, it's, uh, it's going to be a bit tight for somebody who likes to chat, like myself. Yeah. It's going to be tough. <laughs> well, all right. So, limiting, limiting so you only have a 20, 28 minutes or a 30, yeah. uh, 30 seconds, seconds to seconds. do it. Oh, Dan, what are we going to do? <laughs> How are we going to do this? Is there a science to craft? a good toast? There's a science behind everything, okay. obviously. obviously. But, uh, but first, I actually wanted to ask, what makes a toast memorable to the two of you? You're going to be the ones receiving this. Are there things you keep you have in mind? Yeah, I know it's tough that Scotty's only got 30 seconds or a minute. Uh, I like the humorous toast, but I understand people can begin to waffle on a little bit. And a lot of people think they're funny when they're not. Scotty's he's pretty funny. I All think right. whatever he says, <laughs> as long as it's got a little bit of humor, I've, I'm full confidence he'll Great. be fine. Oh, that's good. Humor, I like. Yeah. Although he comes up with dad jokes. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> Thanks, Dad. But I think it's, you know, it's for everyone, even the kids. Okay. Even the kids. You, yes. So, so here are my tips for, for really crafting the most perfect toast. Now, scientifically, starting off, okay. humans speak between 120 and 150 words per minute. Okay, so that's 120, 150 for 60 seconds. Now, an average sentence has somewhere between 12 and 15 words in it, and that takes us somewhere between five and eight seconds to speak. So keep all that in mind because you actually can craft the perfect number of words per second to speak. So you've got 30 seconds, so we can actually do the math now. This is math. I can't just I know. I have to do math. What? We're looking somewhere between 75 and 90 words for 30 seconds here. Now, the second thing I want you to keep in mind is that this is a salute not a speech. Yeah. Now, salute comes from the Latin salus, which is for health, greeting, and welfare. So keep, keep that in mind. This isn't a speech, this is a salute to your honored guests. Salutes are short. Okay. The third thing I like to keep in mind when I'm writing a toast, I keep it full of ham. What does that mean? Ham is hope, <laughs> appreciation, and memory. And that really helps me keep on topic when I'm writing. So l let me give you an example. Um, to the honorable Kim Douglas, <laughs> <laughs> this should be good. I feel this yeah. coming. Yeah. I feel something coming. To the Honorable Kim Douglas, I hope in the years you have remaining. Oh! <laughs> That oh, life no. presents you with ever increasing <laughs> challenges and the glorious wit and heart to conquer them all. Oh, oh very nice. Well, that's <laughs> lovely. I like that. that candid compliment. Oh, but all right, so Chevy and Scotty. That was 31 words, okay? okay? So that was just a couple of seconds. Now, here's a great example of memory. All right. To our effortless host, Christina, I'll never forget the day I realized that you not only host our program, but that you also arrange the flowers before every taping. Aww. It was a glimpse into your pure soul that betrayed a dedicated and overflowing heart I will not soon forget. Oh, oh, she's got the oh my God! Help! 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 What are you doing Friday night? <laughs> that, was sweet. Now, see, that was 47 that was words, and wow, that's you got so my point across all with memory. Now, if I am going to 
go for a wedding toast, right? So yeah, I'm gonna, good. each of those had, we did one on hope, we did one on memory. When I write a wedding toast, I like to do hope, appreciation, and memory. I make a full ham sandwich. Oh, <laughs> I like okay. it. All right. So Trevi and Scotty, what did you two think of the tips? <laughs> I like it, I like it, I yeah. like the ham. I think we can put a lot of ham well, in this, can't we? Whether you can, whether you can fit Fit all that into a, into thirty seconds is still a tough task. Well, we'll oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. All right, we'll We're give us one last this. example for them. <laughs> one last example. All right. To the shining couple, oh. my dear Paige and Jason. Okay, you ready? Okay. Everybody. Everybody. Here, here. Everybody. I'll take here. Mine. Sure. There you go. Now we are but newly met. You have treated me to a friendship as rich as the cake we are destined to eat on your wedding day. I know from how you've treated me that you are two people who walk through life with open arms and open hearts, accumulating love and building family in the world around you. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in raising a glass to the betrothed Paige and Jason. May the coming years return unbounded to you the joy you have brought to the world. Wow. Wow.